In a previous video, I showed you how to create a child account on your Chromebook. Now I want to show you how you can manage that account using parental controls in the Google Family Link app. If you don't already have the app installed, you can get it from the Play Store on your Chromebook or Android, and also in the App Store on iOS. Once you have the Family Link app installed, go ahead and open it, and you'll be presented with any child accounts that you've previously created. If you click on one, you'll be presented with more information about the account and settings that you can adjust. Right at the top, you'll find App Activity, where you can see which apps your child has been using and for how long. If you click More beneath the list of apps, you can see which ones your child has installed and how long each one has been used. By default, the apps don't have individual usage limits, but if you wanted to limit the amount of time your child could use a specific app, you can click the hourglass to the right of it, where you can leave it at no limit, set a limit, or outright block the app. If you click Set Limit, you can choose how long your child can use that specific app. Choose a time, and click Set. If you click into an app, you can choose whether your child is allowed to use the app at all. And if you click into Permissions, you can see what the app itself has permission to use on your device. In this case, it's currently allowed to use the camera. If you untoggle the camera, it'll no longer be able to use it. Back on the main screen, if you scroll down past the teacher-approved apps, you'll find some more useful things. You can see that the Chromebook is currently unlocked. If you wanted to lock it immediately to prevent your child from using it, you could click Lock Now. You can also set a daily usage limit for your child. When they reach the limit, the Chromebook will lock automatically. You can see that my child account has used the device for 24 minutes out of their daily 3-hour allotment. If you click Edit Limits, you can click a day and change the time limit to whatever you would like. And you can also remove or add limits to other days. Just click Save at the top to apply your changes. There's also a tab called Bedtime. In here you can set a time that the Chromebook will lock each night, regardless of the daily limit, and unlock in the morning, and you can set different times on different days. Back on the main screen, you can see that it's past my child's bedtime, so the device is locked. If you want to, you can click Bonus Time and assign some extra time that they're allowed to use the device for. When you click Add, you'll see that the device is now unlocked, and Till When. Below that, you can see apps that your child has installed, and then Settings for your Chromebook. If you click into it, you can then click on App Permissions and change some of the things that your child has access to. For instance, if you click on Contacts, you can choose that only parents can manage contacts and not your child. Back at the top of the main screen, you'll see Manage Settings. Click into it, and you'll be brought to some additional settings for your child's account. These should look familiar from when you first created the child account, but you can change them if you want. For instance, if you go into Google Play, you can click on Purchase and Download Approvals and set whether your child needs approval to download apps or not. If you go back, you can also change what content your child is allowed to browse on Google Play. If you click on Apps and Games, for instance, you could set the age rating that they're allowed to view. Back on the Settings menu, you can tweak similar options for YouTube, Google Search, Photos, and so on. An important one that you might want to be aware of, however, is Google Chrome. It's here that you can manage what websites your child is allowed to visit. You can allow everything, you can set it to attempt to block explicit sites, or you can manage the websites they visit more directly by only allowing approved sites. If you click Manage Sites, you can add approved or blocked sites. Since I have it set to only allow approved sites, I'll click on Approved. A browser window will open, and if you click Add a Website, you can type in the web address and click Approve. If we switch over to our child's account, they can now get to that website. If they try to go to a website that you have not approved, it'll block them, and they can click Ask Permission to get access to it. Back on your parent account, you'll receive a notification that your child wants access to a particular website. 
you can decline it, or click Approve, and they'll be able to visit the site. When a child requests to install an app from the Play Store, it'll show up here the same way. Back in your child's settings, there are a few more things that you can adjust. You can change their account info, and if you go into Controls for Signing In, you can also change whether or not they need to ask your permission to sign into devices other than your Chromebook that can't be supervised. And if you go to Controls for Third-Party Apps, you can do the same for whether they can sign into third-party apps without having to ask you first. And that's a very brief overview of parental controls in the Family Link app. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site. And don't forget to subscribe.